You are watching Tutor Midge. Topic for this day is under MELC, Most Essential Learning Competency Code, M7NS-1C-D-1. The learner performs fundamental operations on integers. Rules in Multiplying Integers So, gawa tayo ng ating table. Ang unang column ay para sa ating unang integer. Ang pangalawa ay para sa ating multiplication symbol. At ang pangatlo ay yung pangalawang integer. So, may positive A tayo multiplied to positive B. Ano ang ating magiging product? So, ito ay equal to, take note, positive times positive. Ang result nito ay dapat positive. And then, multiply A and B. Kaya ang result ay positive AB. Negative A times negative B. Ito ay equal to negative times negative, ang result ay positive. And then, multiply AB, so ang ating product ay positive AB. Positive A times negative B. Ito ay equal to positive times negative, negative, and then multiply AB. So, ang sagot, negative AB. Negative A times positive B, ito ay equal to negative times positive, negative, and then multiply again, AB. So, ang result, negative AB. So, in short, the product of integers with like signs is positive integer. The product of integers with unlike signs is negative integer. Para mas maunawaan ang multiplying of integers, let's have an example. Positive 22 times positive 13. So, positive times positive, ang sagot dapat natin ay positive. Then, simply multiply 22 and 13. Result? Positive 286. Negative 54 and negative 72. Negative times negative is equal to positive. And then, 54 times 72 equals positive 3,888. Nakakasunod ba? Positive 25 times negative 33. This time, isa ang positive, isa ang negative. So, take note, positive times negative equals negative. And then, multiply 25 and 33. So, we have negative 825. Negative 19 times positive 63. So, negative times positive, again, magkaiba sila. So, ito ay negative. Then, multiply 19 and 63. So, we have negative 1,197. Naiintindihan na ba? Paano naman kung tayo ay magmumultiply ng more than 2 integers? So, gawa tayo ng example. Negative 12 times positive 18 times negative 3 times negative 9 times positive 26. So, una, i-multiply muna natin yung unang dalawang integers, tapos idugtong natin yung natitira pa. So, negative 12 times positive 18, negative 216 times negative 3 times negative 9 times positive 26. Ngayon, gawin ulit natin yung unang proseso. Si negative 216 ay multiply muna natin kay negative 3 tapos dugtong ulit natin yung natitira. So, ang result, positive 648 times negative 9 times positive 26. Ulitin din natin yung prosesong ginawa natin. Multiply naman ulit natin ang 648 times negative 9 tapos dugtong ulit natin yung 26. So, result, negative 5,832 
times 26. And finally, multiply na natin ang negative 5,832 times positive 26. Ang result, negative 151,632. Naintindihan ba? So, meron din isa pang technique. Pwede i-multiply natin diretso 12 times 18 times 3 times 9 times 26. Tapos, bilangin ninyo kung ilan ang negative integers na involved. So, dito, meron tayong negative 12, negative 3, at negative 9. Ibig sabihin, may tatlo. Ito ay odd number of negative integers. So, pagka may odd number of integers tayo, ang result nun ay negative. At kung may even, ang result ay positive. So, take note, for final sign of the product, count the number of negative integers. If the number of negative integers is odd, then the final sign is negative. If the number of negative integers is even, then the final sign is positive. Naintindihan ba? Sige, subukan natin ang iyong pagkatuto. Try this! Negative 13 times negative 18 times positive 12 times negative 9 times positive 5 times negative 7. Timer starts now! Ang sagot ay positive 884,520. Nakuha mo ba? Congratulations! Hanggang sa muli! Like and subscribe to Tormed Happy Learning!